The Big Sky State of Montana has been attracting snow sports enthusiasts for decades. With 16 ski hills, endless miles of snowmobile terrain, and some of the world's best skiers residing here, it's pretty obvious why we chose Montana for this episode of the Freeride Chronicles. Hello, I'm Bob Lagasa. I'd like you to join us as we see what skiing in Montana is all about. Our first stop was the vision of a famous Montana native, Chet Huntley, who was a TV news anchorman back in the 50s and 60s. Let's drop in to Big Sky Resort. There's a lot of things that really end up being special about Big Sky Resort. Probably the most things that people notice would be the lack of crowds. We are located in southwest Montana, you could say, uh, just about an hour south of Bozeman. So you fly into Bozeman Airport, it's a pretty easy trip. Big Sky is a, is a full service resort. We've got 14 bars and restaurants right around within walking distance from the, from the plaza where we are now. We've got several hotels, four base hotels and condos right here. We have several hundred outside condo units, beds and units for 2,500 so we can sleep about 5,000 people right here in the base area. 40% of Big Sky's terrain is rated for beginner and intermediate and the other 60% advanced. Now don't worry about busy weekends or holidays because skier traffic gets dispersed pretty easily with 21 chairlifts and the legendary Lone Peak Tram. Most of our chairlifts here are high speed quads, 21 chairs, um, out of those zones that are not high-speed quads, we have a couple doubles that take you into some more advanced terrain. I think the thing that sets Big Sky apart is our tram. And that tram takes you to the top of Lone Peak, which is 11,166 feet, 15 people in the tram. So when you get to the top of that, it's you and 14 other people and 1,200 acres of skiing. Some really rowdy terrain if you want to get into it. And you can't find an experience like that unless you're paying big bucks for Hell of your cat skiing. Well, we're just about to board the tram here at Big Sky and we're gonna go up here and grab some of that goodness. The Lone Peak Tram is an incredible ride. I've ridden trams in a number of locations in North America and it's one of the most amazing tram rides that I've ever had. I mean there's sheer rock cliffs in front of you. Um, it's it's massive terrain. It's really a, a treat to be able to ride the tram to the uh, top of Lone Peak. With over 400 inches of annual snowfall and terrain choices for all levels of riders, now mixing their huge vertical, it's pretty easy to understand why Big Sky Resort was recently ranked 12th out of the top 30 western ski resorts by Ski Magazine. Now if you like laying down trenches on the corduroy, the grooming at Big Sky is spectacular. The grooming is just impeccable, so you can get out there on the fresh corduroy and just start arcing them, laying down media radius, long radius. Uh, you'd be thinking you're in a downhill course sometimes. Very, very nice pitches, nice change ups. Uh, you're not going to get bored on them. It'll keep your attention and you can let them roll. And when you want to venture out into the trees for some of the famous Big Sky cold smoke, the glading is first rate. The glade skiing here is, is tremendous. What we're able to do is thin these glades out um, in an environmentally conscious way, but that, instead of just taking a whole swath out and really opening them up, you're able to really still pick your way through and be part of that tree skiing. After you've put in a good morning session of charging hard, it's time to head down into the village. With over 14 bars and restaurants, your dining choices seem endless. The food here is awesome. I had a chicken tostada salad today and it was absolutely amazing. It wasn't like any lodge food I've ever had before. So many choices. Another draw that keeps bringing guests back year after year to Big Sky is the vibe. 
it's hard to explain, but it's the culture of Montana. It's the lifestyle of Montana. And if you don't ever come here, like I said, it's hard to explain, but people, when they get here, they instantly go, I get it. It's laid back, people are super nice. The whole feel of Big Sky experience is, is really pleasant because it's a very laid back Montana feel that you just don't get anywhere else. It's pretty tough to beat this backdrop. Big Sky Resort has all kinds of amazing scenery. It's just blown me away. It's my first time here. I can't believe how huge it is. So much fun. There's all kinds of terrain, beautiful scenery everywhere you look. A lot of fun. There's also plenty of wildlife to view in and around Big Sky. It's not uncommon to see herds of elk and bighorn sheep. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of a few of the local mountain goats that make their home on Lone Peak. Fun is what Big Sky is all about. And if it isn't big enough, Big Sky recently purchased Moonlight Basin and bumped their skiable terrain up to 5,700 skiable acres. That makes us the biggest skiing in America. And you can buy one combined lift ticket with that. And the nice thing too is that it's very European feeling. So at the top of one chairlift, if I go right, I end up in Moonlight. If I go left, I end up in Big Sky. I don't care who you are, that's a lot of skiing. Big Sky even has one run that is six miles long. I just love being here at Big Sky. I've probably been here six to eight times over the last 10 years. Every time I come here and see the Lone Peak, it's just like unbelievable. It's got a lot of different aspects on it. Uh, so we got here a couple days after some snow came down and uh, we found some nice soft snow. It was great. A little bit in the face, it was a uh, good powder skin. If you're looking for an uncrowded ski vacation, Big Sky Resort needs to be on your hit list. I'm pretty sure that Chet Huntley would be blown away with Big Sky Resort now. Now don't go far because when we come back, we're going to meet a guy who's been on a real bumpy path. Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Rosignol. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury, making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place, wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. The snow has never been better up at Mount Spokane. Let's go! Let's go! Come on! With over 1,400 acres of fast cruiser corduroy runs to steep and deep tree skiing, including the $69 Learn to Ski and Ride Special, which is lift ticket, rental, and lessons, Mount Spokane has got it all, and it's only a gallon of gas away. More snow, let's go! Come out and play! You can even tube at the top or enjoy some great night skiing. It's time to play in your own backyard now, up at Mount Spokane.
Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Jeep. It's turned out several members of the U.S. Freestyle Ski Team. The hill may be small, but it's big in heart. 12 miles north of Missoula, Montana, at the end of a Forest Service road, sits Montana Snow Bowl. This ski hill is true Americana, and more importantly, what skiing is all about. Being with family and friends, creating life-lasting memories. Life up here at Snowball is just a great place to work. A lot of wonderful tree skiing, uh, kind of a mom and pop place. Two double chair lifts uh, with quite a few acres, so it really spreads people out. It's small mountains like Snowball that have heart and soul and turn out some incredible skiers. Like 1998 Olympic gold medalist Eric Burghost and former national freestyle ski team members Donovan Power and Landon Gardner. Landon was on the United States freestyle ski team as a mogul skier for nine years. Growing up at Snowball has been awesome. Uh, this is a place, 2,600 vertical feet, diverse terrain, um, great snow, and an awesome freestyle program. And so that's why I love it so much. Both Landon and Donovan run the freestyle program at Snowball, and they're passing on their skills to the next generation of mogul skiers, hoping to add to the count of U.S. ski team members from Snowball. Uh, latest counts, four, maybe five, a couple Olympians and some national championship uh, winners. And so, yeah, I think it just uh, contributed to the terrain here and the freestyle program and uh, the heartbeat of skiing in Missoula. With 2,600 feet of vertical and plenty of steeps within his 1,200 skiable acres, it's understandable to see why there's so many good skiers coming out of Missoula. It's easy to get around the mountain with two chairlifts, a T-bar, and a rope tow. Pretty efficient lift-wise the way the mountain is set up because once you get to the top you can ski anywhere and you only need to ride two lifts to ski all 2,600 vertical. With 300 inches of annual snowfall, that means freshies on a regular basis. So hot skiing here is great. We are a small mountain. We have two double chairs and so you can find your stash days after this, the storm. It's awesome. Snowball grooms every night so you can put the wood to the corduroy and lay down some arcing turns. With over 40 runs to choose from, there's plenty of choices for the whole family. If you're looking for some tree skiing or steeps, there's plenty of that too. At the base of the mountain is where you find the lodge, bar, and hotel. One of the first things you notice when you walk into the rustic style lodge is the incredible smell of fresh baked pizza. Yeah. This is as fresh as it gets. This pizza will rival any of the best pizzerias anywhere. One thing that is a common link with Montana skiing is the Montana hospitality. Everyone here at Snowball is so friendly and everyone seems to know each other. There's a lot to say about being a local ski hill and Montana Snowball is living proof that big things do come in small packages. The vibe and the skiing keeps bringing back the locals year after year. 
Now don't go far because when we come back, we've got a few more adventures in the Big Sky State. Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Obermeyer. Have you ever skied in two states at the same resort? You can do that at Lookout Pass, your number one powder place, with some of the best prime powder tree skiing around. With an average annual snowfall of 400 inches, you'll enjoy epic powder days and world-class grooming. Voted the most favorite family-friendly resort and the most affordable rates in the region, our friendly staff makes it fun for the whole family. Go to SkiLookout.com for a complete list of all our events. Your number one powder place, Lookout Pass. To learn more about Scenic Idaho, go to visitidaho.org. The snow has never been better up at Mount Spokane. More snow! Let's go! Come out! With over 1,400 acres of fast cruiser corduroy runs to steep and deep tree skiing, including the $69 Learn to Ski and Ride Special, which is lift ticket, rental, and lessons, Mount Spokane has got it all, and it's only a gallon of gas away. More snow! Let's go! Come out and play! You can even tube at the top or enjoy some great night skiing. It's time to play in your own backyard now up at Mount Spokane. Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Swanee Gloves. Just out of Big Sky, Montana, is one of Montana's newer ski resorts, Moonlight Basin. It's known for deep powder, big trees, and fun times. in the high alpine we're really excited uh, we're waiting for the patrol to open the mountain you can hear the bombing in the background and that's an exciting sound West Montana's Moonlight Basin is known for its light dry snow but with over 1900 acres of goodness in the resort there's lots of terrain choices to get your powder fix on. Well Moonlight Basin we have some incredible terrain I mean if you look up at the headwaters and North Summit we have things that are you know 40 to 50 degrees in pitch you know 1500 2000 feet of vertical just in that uh, have over 4100 feet of vertical total but we also have some incredible gladed runs and some real fun family runs as well. Tree skiing here is absolutely spectacular. It's everything you dream about in tree skiing. Consistent steep pitches and these big bristle pines. It was absolutely great. We have a ton of advanced terrain. We have over 50% advanced terrain, but if you look at it, you add up the headwaters and the north summit and that whole complex, that adds up for a lot of our acreage. But the rest is, is divided evenly between beginner and intermediate terrain. So if you like advanced, we have that. If you like intermediate runs, we have those as well, some long groomers. With plenty of options for the whole family and that Montana charm, it's no wonder Moonlight Basin has been attracting families since its beginning in 2003. Montana, Montana is different. The easiest way to say it, you know, it's a it's a natural, relaxed, 
environment that people just like to come and hang out in. So we're not pretending to be anybody else here at Moonlight Base, and we don't tell our employees, act like this, be like this. We say, be yourself, you know, be open, be welcoming. And Mix in some good old down-home hospitality and some Montana architecture, and you know, you're in for something special. Coming into Moonlight Basin, it's it's so nice when you arrive, you come into a beautiful lodge, uh, the fireplace is spectacular in the place, and uh, leather armchairs and couches to put your boots on, it's, it's a rare experience in the ski world. The rustic Moonlight Lodge is over 33,000 square feet, which hosts a spa, a deli for a quick on-the-go bite to eat, a bar, and a beautiful dining facility. The lodge makes for a great place to hang out before and after your ski day. Not only is the lodge impressive, but so are the lodging choices that are available. Moonlight Basin is a fairly new resort. We've only been around since 2003, so all of the lodging here that we have is high-end, spectacular, uh, beautifully crafted properties. We rolled into the village after skiing all day and they said they had a room set up for us. It wasn't really a room. Huge house, beautiful hot tub, great fireplace. I mean, what a way to spend a weekend. Not to be rivaled, the food at Moonlight is just as impressive. At Moonlight, we have a few different dining options. You can eat at the Headwaters Grill, which is in the Madison Base area, just a nice, relaxed, cafeteria-style dining facility. And then we also have the Jack Creek Grill up at the Moonlight Lodge that provides a uh, more elegant fare for you, as well as burgers and wings and nachos and all the stuff people come to love. With a mountain that seems like it already has everything, there's even more, like the combination of skiing both Big Sky and Moonlight Basin. Try skiing all of that in one day. Now, if you're an advanced rider and you want to add a little adventure to your Moonlight Basin experience, you definitely need to check out the North Summit Snowfield, which is accessible from Big Sky's Lone Peak Tram. And it's like a, a backcountry experience or a helicopter experience, but yet it's in bounds. We allow four people to go every 10 or 15 minutes into this area, into a great snow field, and then you have options. Other areas that are really technical, steep shoots, you get down and all of a sudden you're in a wide open bowl area making these powder turns, you're done, and that's only a couple thousand feet. You still got two more thousand feet to go. By the time you're done, you realize you've had the best run of your life. It's just blower and uh, every turn, you just had a contrail coming off your skis. It was fabulous. The scenery here at Moonlight is absolutely incredible. You know, they call Montana the Big Sky State for a reason, and here you see it all. Absolutely beautiful. Surrounded by this incredible landscape, down-home Montana hospitality, and off-the-charts riding, Moonlight Basin is the real deal. I mean, what a way to spend a weekend. Chronicles brought to you by Smith Optics. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents, or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place, wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. Have you ever skied in two states at the same resort? You can do that at Lookout Pass, your number one powder place, with some of the best prime powder tree skiing around. With an average annual snowfall of 400 inches, you'll enjoy epic powder days and world-class grooming. Voted the most favorite family-friendly resort and the most affordable rates in the region, our friendly staff makes it fun for the whole family. Go to SkiLookout.com for a complete list of all our events. Your number one powder place, Lookout Pass. To learn more about scenic Idaho, go to visitidaho.org.
Thanks for joining us on this road trip. Make sure you check out these resorts online and book your next winter vacation. To follow the Freeride Chronicles, check us out on Facebook. Until next time, I'm Bob Lagasse and I'll see you on the hill. Do something that's watching yourself. Yeah, and yeah. Testing. Scare you need to scare you like have one of those situations <laughs> and you make it, you know, you're like whether you're biking or even driving.